Yo, 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 what's going on? This is your boy Jay Joyner here, the ultimate entrepreneur, CEO of Focus Institute, where we focus on mindset and, of course, these charts. So, I want to give a special shout out to my boy Mustafa Ali. He's part of that PIP society. Y'all know how we get down. You dig? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Shout out to Leo, the man. The man, the myth, the legend, doing his thing. Thank you for your invite. All right, so with all that being said, um, you wanted me, Mustafa, to break down uh, today, which is uh, 525, uh, Tuesday the 25th, uh, 2021. Uh, you want me to break down GDP, USD, uh, Euro GPV, and Euro USD. All right, so... Um, I'm gonna just give you my quick bias, show you how I break down the charts uh, when I break, when I open up a chart and looking at a pair. Um, and you know, everybody got their own way of doing it, but this is pretty much my checklist on how I do it, uh, all the way down to my uh, entry on the 15 minute chart. And then of course, go down to the five minute just to get a real tight entry uh, when it's that time to pull the trigger. All right, so uh, with that being said, uh, let me break this down to you. So we're gonna start off with GDP USD. Okay, um, love this pair. It's one of my favorite pairs. I trade this during London, so I'm just letting you know. I strike at 12 o'clock. I'm in LA, so I strike at as soon as 12 o'clock. Hit 12.01. I'm looking for my entry uh, after it breaks above uh, the daily candle. Uh, about 10 pips above that daily candle. Whatever direction that is, that's when I'm going uh, in, um, grabbing those pips. And then, um, of course, I'm looking for the reversal uh, to happen pretty soon, um, especially, of course, if it's at our favorite place of the day, high and lows of the day. So, of course, we get lucky if it can continue going in direction, but most of the time it's going to go in that direction a little bit and do what it needs to do, then come on back down and um, go in its true direction. All right, so with that being said, first thing we always have to do is we have to identify our overall trend. So our overall trend uh, that, of course, is a uptrend. So the bulls is running the show right now, okay? Uh, once I identify my trend, I want to get more up close and personal uh, and just start focusing on yesterday, right? And then the present day, maybe two days ago, all depending where the high and the lows were uh, in those uh, two to three day periods. But I already know, you know, the market is only going to move so much uh, within a time frame. So I don't go too far, too high, or, or too low. I'm staying real intimate so I can see some breaks in uh, price action or breaks in structure. So then I can make some, um, some decisions, okay? So now we identified the trend. Once we identify the trend, we're going to blow it up a little bit, like I said. And then we're going to analyze this daily candle. All right, so course I already marked some stuff off so I would be ready uh, for you all right so of course this is the day this is the new day opening right here so this was basically yesterday which you know has some uh, pretty decent move to the upside uh, then came back down uh, but still finished uh, off bearish so you know um, we're looking for that downtrend so we do like this rejection uh, of this level here of the high of the day. We do love this right here, especially in the days It's been rejecting off of that rejecting rejecting and now of course right here um, With this candle here uh, This is definitely a good reversal candle, which is um, letting us know that this uptrend is pretty much over Okay, so now with that being said uh, another way that we can understand about what this um this uptrend it this immediate this this i should say uptrend of this uh aspect um is as far as this level goes but we are going to come down here and i do believe uh hit this uh the uh the trend line that i drew and and continue going uh to the upside but of course that's going to be a little bit later on down the line so we're going to just stay on point right now all right so with that being said we know where our targets are um, the high of the day and the low of the day and this is us right now where we're getting ready to make our decision 
So I just like to go down to the four hour chart to see what them beautiful candles be looking like. You know, seeing what them beautiful candles been looking like. You know, all right. So these will make sense to you as we get more intimate in our entry. All right, so as you can see, uh, once again, just like it was shown, uh, we had our nice little high, came, rejection, nice little push to the downside, right? Rejection, came back up, now back in an uptrend at the moment on the four hour, all right? But uh, thing that, uh, that you need to pay attention to is my alligator. So that joker don't lie, man. That joker don't lie. So basically what it's showing us is that since this alligator is at the bottom uh, of the blue line, uh, we're waiting for uh, this actually to you know come down and do a retest uh, and start the downtrend now since it is in a downtrend forming some higher lows. I mean some lower highs, I should say, uh, from the high of the day. All right. So now we can kind of see our new low new high so we'll basically see how much this is going but like i said i do respect the alligator and right now um it's not in a good big uptrend of uh, so uh we will see these this green kind of going to the upside there so we're going to pay attention to that indicator to let us know that this is coming up to a level uh, that we'll see on some of the smaller time frames that um of some rejection uh where we can see that it can probably no doubt reject and then come on back down to the downside to continue this downtrend uh, that we are officially in. Okay, once again, my bias. Let's go down here to this uh, one hour time frame. Once again, just to pay attention to these beautiful candles. Once again, here I told you about that level of rejection uh, that I saw uh, already. Um, we go back, we can see that this was support back in the day, right? and then came down broke support hit that level which is going to be one of our favorite levels of rejection right here came down rejected tried to come couldn't really break through and then started shooting back up to the upside uh to form a new high over here all right uh which and then once again rejection all the way back down to this level here so we're looking for this here now to bounce off of this and we're looking now to continue going to the upside and this here being our target on the uh, one hour uh, uh, time frame. So it has been came down, respected this level here like it did in the past. So now we're looking for it to start forming some higher highs. So we got some lows, we got a high, right? We got a new low, but it's a lower, it's a higher low. So we look like we got a nice little trend uh, getting ready to get started. And then um, where I would get in, since price is right here right now, I would just no doubt just be patient away from my alligator to come to the upside. When I saw that, I'm a, that's going to be one of my, my key entries to getting in the market. Also, too, I want price to come above this 50. Okay, so uh, this white line here is 50 moving average. So I'm away for price definitely to come above the 50 because as you see, 50 is well respected. And anytime it break above the 50, comes back to retest the 50, we pretty much get that lovely 50-50 bounce trade, right? So that means we can get 50 pips once it touches the 50 to the upside, all right? So once again, we can come here. We're waiting for it to retest the 50 and move to the upside plus get confirmation from our alligator to the upside and look for the buy. Now we can come down to our 15 minute and see that it's already, already started. You feel me? Came down to this level here, kind of tested it, bumped his head on the 50, respected it, broke a little bit, but you already know what that's about right there. Coming there, you know what that's about now. Uh, support, I mean resistance is now turning into support right there, what lets us know. And then we can see that break above with our alligator to the upside. So actually, you could get in this trade right now if you like. You're gonna put your stop loss down here, up, uh, right below this level here, and ride this joker right to the top. Take a one-to-one -one on it, um, or take what you want, but because you already know where it's going. All right. So that is my analysis on GDP USD. All right. So we're gonna be looking for the buy to the upside. All right. So next. 
uh, chart we're going to look at is the we'll stay with the with the uh, British pound right quick so we want uh, euro GBB let's see euro GBB once again like I always start off on the daily start off on this daily right quick okay I hear you I hear you I hear you all right so wow where is my oh my goodness what happened oh no worries did not i could have sworn i marked up this one okay so i did it i did where did that chart go is it here uh no uh no okay no worries love to do this so um with that being said we're going to identify this as a down trend right so we can simply just come here um uh all in all right um take our trend line and uh you know as a matter you want to start from the top top down right Boom. Let's go here come on trend line Boom. right high trend line coming on down right but once again i'm gonna respect these um levels here so trend line has been broken right it's consolidating at the moment all right but at the same time hasn't formed a new high okay came here for a low um kind of did form a new high in a sense but right now we don't know so we're gonna get a little bit more personal uh with this what's going on but right now i'm gonna say we are still trending to the downside until i can see better all right so with that being said, let's go ahead and get more intimate here and open this up and analyze the candles. Yesterday's candle. Let's do that. All right. I didn't want this video to be too long. Because I know how I am when it comes down to watching long analysis, man. Even though I can watch this stuff all day. All right. So once again, I'm going to come grab my line here. I'm just going to come up to... A decent little high of the day from yesterday right and then I'll come down here to the uh, low of yesterday which is some cool because that's that's some nice room to move uh, between this these levels here so this is pretty nice um, and then we'll just basically stick to that I do love this alligator action right here showing that we are in an uptrend uh, now so of course once again that uh, downtrend was broken. So if this is part of a breaking of a downtrend to be able to catch it right when it's happening is love. All right. So that's cool. But I am a intraday trader. I'm a day trader. So um, big trend reversals like that ah, don't really associate with me that much. All right. So now I've marked off my high in my day and my low of my day. And then I'm going to just go get intimate. Once again, I just like to see what's going on. I like to see what's going on. Right? Of course. Okay. All right. So, as you see, we got some rejection at a high. Now, we're coming on down. And we're getting, going down to the downside. Uh, but, as you see, um, we are still in an uptrend. All right, with these four hour candles, gotta respect that trend, respect that 50, anything's above that 50. So we are in a up trend still. All right, so let's go ahead and get down to the hour. Now that's right here. We're gonna get a little bit personal right now. All right, so let's do this. Tap, 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 tap. All right, so now we basically see what's going on. We got that nice push to the upside. Hope somebody caught that. Uh, nice little push to the upside. Now we already respected uh, the high of the day. And now we're coming down here to start our push to the downside to respect our low of the day. All right. Which in turn, we do have some action down here. So if we break this, we have um, a chance to come on down here and uh, respect some of these levels down here. But right now, we're looking for, I would say, a push to the downside, all right? Um, but at the same time, 
Um, we always have to wait. We got to be waiting, be patient, because it just, I mean, you can't, you know, nobody really knows. This is all just our opinions or whatever. But, you know, being pushed down to the downside, forming those highs, this being the high of the day, we do have some levels above it. Let me see if we go back to the day. All right. So we do have some, some levels above it that uh, could be going, not to mention our downtrend is, looks like it was broken. So this could be a nice little push to the upside on the bigger time frame, which we do have to respect. So we can res uh, expect um, the price to continue to keep moving to the upside. All right. All right. So now let's go down here to once again, the one hour and we'll go. And I think what's going on with the one hour is that this is a key level but I believe I can go here. So you know how it is when you're trying to mark off your dailies and stuff like that, right? So once again, this is our daily level uh, that we're gonna be dealing with within the day. Got our candle getting ready to turn white too. All right, so it looked like we uh, had a nice little push to the upside and then now it's gonna start pushing on down to the downside uh, to give that respect uh, to that uh, trend reversal that's happening right now. So we, we uh, trend into the upside. We hit a nice little low uh, right here. And now we're going to be moving to the upside. So uh, once again, we're just going to focus on this day. All right. So let's go down to the 15 minute. See how we would enter this market right here. Uh, I need a timer. I can make sure and see how long all this good stuff is. Ooh, pushing to the downside, right? So already broke the 50. Already broke the 50. So you already know this is a key level here. So you can be patient. I would be a little bit patient within this level here. Um, had a nice little push to the downside. And then our, our buyers uh, came back in. Kind of pushed the market back up didn't do too much because all it did was just form a nice little lower high which in turn is just uh, symbolizing a downtrend this here looks like a nice little another lower high which is um uh you know it symbolizes the downtrend and we already know where we're going to the downside there so uh we can go back prices um started uh broke above the uh 50 had a chance to break above the 50 and start moving to the upside did not do that, broke below it, and started using it as resistance. That's always a good sign that we are in a downtrend. Not to mention this beautiful long candle that just formed. So we have a nice little um, resistance uh, support level right here. So I can come here and do this. But the, I would believe the true one was here. And we'll change that to yellow. So we'll know these are smaller time frame support and resistance level so i would really just wait for price to break below here respect i'm gonna respect the 50. uh you can literally i would say you can literally get into this trade here but i would wait for that um that respect for here to uh either break this or come back up and give us that uh double top that double respect um that we need uh for uh, testing uh, the high of the day uh, but once again this this trend is look like it's trending pretty pretty well down to the downside so it might just go ahead and do what it need to do but I will be patient and wait for it to break this level and then um, go ahead maybe wait for the retest of this level here and then come on and uh, let it come on to the downside and get them pips baby okay so, all right, that is my bias on Euro GPB. I will be taking a sell on that. All right, so I think uh, Euro GPB, let's see, I'm lost now. All right, so I know I did one already. All right, so uh, Euro USD, I think that was the last one that we can do. Euro USD. Um, I got my chart marked up. Uh, I need to have a checklist. I ain't did this in a while as far as videos go uh, to see. So once again, we just wanted GBD, USD, Euro GBB, 
and okay so i remember we did the gvp pairs first now we'll just do the euro usd all right so as you see i kind of got this marked up already we'll go back up to the daily and see where our daily candle was marked up okay so let's go here we'll blow this up all right so uh yesterday's candle all right daily yesterday's candle high and the low of yesterday's candle we need to mark that off i think what i ended up doing though since this uh high and low was just like really low it wasn't didn't give this really no room to move um i went ahead and used this as my low but we'll what we'll do is that we'll honor that anyway and we'll just move it up here all right i was probably looking at it from it being much bigger all right so we'll go ahead and use the high from yesterday and the low from yesterday here um once again um we identify our trend all right so once again uh we can kind of use our we use our trend line drew the trend line uh there all right so um, you want to see the whole thing you want to see the whole thing you need to see the whole thing all right all right from the low to the high where we at right now i um, pretty much love this too this is a nice little high coming back up here so that's why i kind of put that there plus it was a nice little uh respect in the past uh that it had back there too um but once again it's the daily so we will stay focused on yesterday all right so now let's go here and we'll blow it up so you, now you can see what method to my madness was uh on what i had going on okay all right so that's what we use in there all right concentrating on this candle right here so now let's go down to the four hour once again i just like to kind of see what's going on we already know this is our top this is going to be our bottom let's go back uh okay red and green is going to be our top and our bottom and then let's go here so green is our bottom red is our top and we'll go there kind of seeing the rejection anyway uh, the day rejection done already started on the four hour clicking it down to the downside right still an official uptrend but clicking it down to the downside and it's going to go down i believe until we go ahead and we hit this trend line so we got some movement to the downside uh you know coming in the next uh, couple of days couple of weeks uh to the downside uh with this uh pair here for the euro usd all right so now once again we see some rejection all right we'll go down to the one hour just to see what's really going on see if it broke any levels so we came down here we've seen this one here got some rejection off of this level here came back up did not form any new highs so we can clearly say that this is a downtrend getting ready to get started but once again i always wait for my alligator to tell me what's really going on and of course my 50 moving average i need some action below that luckily we have a lot of room to the downside to get these pips so we can come from here and we got it going all the way down to the bottom i just put this here because this is a key level so i would like to see this level broke um not before i get in though so we can go down to the 15 minute so we can see our actual entry right and where we want to see um price action at before we get in so we got some movement here we already formed a nice little low right here all right let me stretch that out a little bit so we can see it a little bit clear all right so as you see we got price right now on an uptrend okay going to the upside but all all the way in to the downside so we're looking at price to come about right here definitely come about right here and make this reversal if we don't see any moves to the upside now at the same time right now what i am seeing is consolidation but now i'm paying attention to my alligator okay so this could be a nice little push to the upside i will not really truly 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 believe it until it breaks this level here 
All right, so we'll go ahead and mark this off here. All right. And go ahead and put that. Like y'all know, this is my smaller time frame. T-zones. Uh, where I want price to come uh, and make some decisions. So I'll probably be looking for it. Uh, to it came up had a nice little rejection right there kind of came back down I like this zone here kind of pushed back up to the upside so this is a nice little zone too seen a lot of rejection right here for support all right so we can go here put some put a nice little level up in there uh, we can probably even say for the respect see these are all that wick action man it's all that wick action, right? So zones, y'all know about them zones. You feel me? So we got one there. You know what I mean? Came down, nice little push back up to the upside. But we want to respect the zones on the bigger time frame for the bigger pushes to the upside. But we just need to know breaking points. You feel me? Like where things are going to break at so we can kind of get in, you know, sniper entry. Get in sniper real tight. All right, but once again, we are in a uptrend. So I'm gonna respect this level though. I am, I'm gonna respect this. I got to, I got to. It came down there and did what it needed to do. All right, so uh, once again, we're, we're making a big push to the upside, but I would consider this kind of like consolidation going on. So I would have to see this really move to the upside and start seeing something. But as you see, we need a break here uh, to continue our push to the upside to make it do what it's going to do. Uh, let's shrink it and let's just see how long this trend has been going Just to give us some more confirmation You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's been pretty strong, right? So it's been moving to the upside if we drew a trend line uh, From here to there it looks like the trend has been broken uh, Yep, so let's just do that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see Let's go here Boom. Right. That's a nice little trend line right there. That's nice. Some retest levels up in there. But as you see, that joker broke. Right? So we had a nice little high. Came down, retested it. Came down, no move to the upside. Then started coming. So we can probably expect price to start moving on. Coming to consolidate a little bit break below this level right here once it breaks below this level right here i will go ahead and continue to the downside to our nice little low of the day so um i would say my bias on this here is that i'm gonna take a sale if it breaks below this level here it breaks below this zone here right uh and then i'm gonna go into this zone and then pay attention but right now right off the back i want to take a sale uh just based on it breaking this trend line right here Okay, just on it based on it breaking it and just breaking it um, Based on it also too being in a downtrend here hitting the high of the day and then now working its way back down to the low of the day uh, Then from there pushing its way back down to this key level right here, which should be a uh, Nice little level too. So I'll make that uh, Just a something to remember right there let's go make that solid all my solid red lines solid red mm, just know that that's a nice little level uh, that we should be uh, looking forward to uh, thinking about in the near uh, in the you know, far in the future a little bit but there you have it mr. Mustafa Ali I appreciate you man for reaching out bro you feel me? Um, this here just makes me a better trader when I can talk things out and do what I need to do. Um, so I appreciate you asking. Um, I would love to hear your analysis also too. So what I do, I'm going to just record this right quick um, and then just put it like on a little private YouTube little situation um, and then just uh, post it in the group or I'm going to just go ahead and just send it to you. Um, accept my friend request, bruh, uh, so that uh, you can see this video. <laughs> Okay, um, but I'll post it in the group too and um, you know love to hear you guys feedback Like I said, I haven't did this in a while um, Breaking down charts or nothing like that, but hopefully I did a good job and hopefully it made sense once again I am taking a sell on the euro USD after it breaks this level here 
And I would probably wait for the retest of this level um, to push down to the downside also too. And play it real tight here with my stop loss. Um, probably just above this level right here. I won't even take it up here. I just like right above the trend line there. Just to make sure. All right. Make it real tight. All right. So once again, this is your boy Jay Joyner here. The ultimate entrepreneur. Where we stay focused, man. Focus, fearless, ones, changing, unique situations. F-O-C-U-S. Stop being scared, y'all. Get focused. Let's go. All the back. Peace.